Single player selected. And welcome back friends, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. This might be the first time I've done an introduction and then done a welcome back and still not played the game. So that, <laughs> that is a first, that is. Congratulations. So without further ado friends, let's get in the game. New game. We're going to be doing, what do you reckon, chip pants? That's got to be hard, of course. No, no. We're going to Wait, be doing... extreme? Yeah, right. We're going to be doing normal. Okay. It's been, a long, it's been a long time, chip pants. It's been a long time. <laughs> Would you have probably done it on normal, your first go? Always would have done normal, yep. Okay. I'm that kind of guy. Middle of the path, middle of the road. God, he's, well, he's a frogman, pants. I always wanted to be a frogman. I don't know. Or actually just have frog babies. Frog Excuse woman. Me. Yeah, just have babies out in the backyard. Excuse me. Yeah. Can we have frogs? Can I just be a frog man in pace? <laughs> Can be through here? I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bombers and flies. It really is a good intro for a game. Movie-like. Very cinematic, you're right. Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. That will be irritating if you ever get spam calls. <laughs> exactly. I get stuff from China all the time, Pug calling me. All right, I can see some uh, loot down there. Let's grab that first, shall we? It's in the water. Sneak under here. From what I've seen so far of the story, Pug. Yeah. I don't understand why Solid is putting himself at risk for this. What's he getting out of it? <gasps> I guess he just thought oh, he just wants to save the world, your pants. You gotta watch out for those puddles because they will uh, make a noise when you go over them. Oh, is that what that is? You see what I was saying about the camera angle? Most of the time I play the game looking at the map. That's mostly what I look at. Oh, it is really? like a game of Pac Man. <laughs> There's the ghost. <laughs> and we go around. And go. Oh, and that's the puddle. All right, got another ration. Ration heals us. All we've got with us at the moment are six. Yeah, couldn't forget that. And rations. And we have no weapons at the moment. We are basically naked. Got a we'll call. Naked snake. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. I can do that. Let's go hide. You were sent on a dangerous mission like this with no weapon, huh? We couldn't take anything in. We had to kind of swim in, chip pants. But your cigarettes could make it. He snuck them in. <laughs> but you're sneaking a gun, Snake. <laughs> not Snake. Snake is a proper badass. You're not going to get many more badass um, heroes than Solid Snake. Would you say he's more badass than James Bond? Yes, I would. He's much cooler, too. Than all of them. Now you told me just the other day, Chip Pants, the next Bond's going to be a woman. That's what they're saying? You're looking forward to that, then? Yeah. Can't wait. Ugh. 
I didn't watch Bond before. Definitely not watching it now. You can't be a bit of golden eye, though, shit pants. <laughs> what? They're blinking, Pug. What does that mean? It just means what? They're agitated. No, they're just looking normally, like, at the moment. So that's okay. good. That's fine. Okay. Let's sneak in quick while he's, he's gone. Can't be sneaky. Yes. Now, how do you feel about the controls on this? I know you said that you, you weren't a big fan of them. But, uh, so is that a scenario that you might have failed very easily? You made it look easy. <laughs> that one's fine. That's, that's okay. It's just... Well, you're safe. We're going to have some save states, Pug. Oh, we have to have the old safe states, people. <laughs> oh, he's getting out of his frog gear. He's got his old bandana. Looking like a badass. So he hasn't got blonde hair. It must have been. Maybe it was just the artist they wanted to show hair, so they, everything else was dark, so they made it light. But Liquid has blonde hair. Who's his brother? Ah. Who looks just like him. Hmm. Maybe he dyed it too. Who knows? A very atmospheric guy. Feeling that I'm feeling the chills already from the snow. <laughs> you can't you can't feel that temperature though because you're in a super high tech bodysuit. We, we 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 call that a scarf, <laughs> I think. Scarf and gloves. Mittens and bonnet. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent snake. Age hasn't slowed you down Thank one you. bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. It's a nice helicopter, the old hind. The Russians know how to build sexy looking machines. It's got to be up to the viewer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you're not seeing it, Chip. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. As helicopters go, I like, I like the old hinds. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're just flattering me. He no, is putting I'm on serious. the charm. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. Everybody loves Snake. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. 
Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. That's a lie. Make sure you don't let them see you. They're dummies. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Alright, she feels a bit late on that information. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the right. weather. True, but if right? you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or Look advice. at all the people on the line. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record yeah, your how do we know basis? Slate isn't really a My schizophrenic and these just aren't all voices in his head? <laughs> it's a dedicated frequency for saving data. And he's flirting with Don't one. Forget it. <laughs> Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Oh my I'll gosh. Hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. You must be a real addict to put cigarettes in your stomach. And then smoke them with stomach acid all over them. Yeah, nothing like Ooh. a ciggy and some if stomach acid. In, That's gross. Door. It puts my throat on fire just thinking it's about it. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What? They got pineapples, chip pets. They got they're throwing pineapples at us. <laughs> they get spiky. I'll grant it I'll grant you that. What about the air duct near the door? He's snoozing. There could also be a duct on the second floor. They're not the best of soldiers. They're super high tech. Yeah, I but that doesn't here. stop them from sleeping on Jesu. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Man, all the military terms. This is this is a highly militarized game. All right. Well, we've got to get in this building somehow. So, first of all, I'm going to check some loads. All right. We can only at the moment carry two rations. So your health is good right now. Is there a health bar? Is there something? There is a health bar. Uh, see it there? Life. Oh, okay. I mean, it's little. It's small, but as we progress, it gets bigger. Oh, there's a spotlight. Don't go in the spotlight, people. Now, shaft grenades, what they do is they knock out cameras. I was going to call it chaff. Now, that's what I said, isn't it? Chaff, chaff, whatever you want. Chaffies. I've got to be careful of the light. You can go right underneath them. That's about all you can do. Oh. <gasps> right. That wasn't good. Ooh. Excuse me. You're ruining my let's play. Sod the light. <laughs> uh, we need to run and hide. Run and hide to let them calm down and forget that you were ever here. <laughs> no, I don't want... You don't... I don't want to kill them if I can help it. You don't actually have to. Oh, you! I said I don't want to kill him, but I might just have to. Well, you want his gun, don't you, Pug? You just play Ring Around the Rosie yeah. on this box. Huh? <laughs> Alright, well, that's a terrible start. But, uh. Can't say I'm completely shocked. Right, I'll go back on duty. So why don't you want to kill them? Uh, yeah. 
you don't actually have to kill them in this game. So I'm I'm nice, Chip Pants. If I can help it, I'm not going to break their necks. <laughs> so so is that the only reason? We're just being nice here. Exactly. You probably get okay. a better score if you don't kill them, but I never cared about score. No. Yeah. Let's get in the back of here. Holy crap, there was one right there. Okay, we got a gun. But, it doesn't have a silencer on it, so I'm not going to use it. Um. Alright, let's see if we can... There's two entrances. I'm going to try and get to the one upstairs. Alright, so I'm taking it that those are yellow... Okay, so the yellow cones, that's a camera, and that, the green cones yes. are peoples. Alright. If we can get underneath the camera, we'll be fine, unlike what I did before. <laughs> well, there's a guard right there. You need to have a rock in your pocket to toss, to divert their attention. I can bang on the on the uh, wall, Ooh. but I don't want to do that right now. Actually, is there any other loots down here? Oh, oh, there's there something was one. back there. Let me grab that. Gonna have to, yeah, get out of the camera's way. Go, go, go! Oh, it's just another ration. I would have thought that you would have needed that. Yeah, for... I'm gonna, gonna heal and then use it. There we go. Oh, okay. So it doesn't automatically use your health. You have to tell it when you want to heal. It will automatically, automatically use it if you keep it equipped, which I do oh. at the moment. Which I have at the moment. Um, when it hits zero. Huh? Whose what, what? footprints are these? Oh, he's seen my footprints, pants below. Footprints? It could be yours for all you know. <laughs> these I, guys are taking their jobs too seriously. I can't believe if you stay out in the in the cold too long, you catch a cold and you'll start sneezing. It, is that true? It's true. Oh my god. It's little things that, like that that make the game really fantastic. No. He's been a, I he's don't want to kill him. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> I'm taking that back. I'm not having that. Right, I don't want to kill him. If we don't want to kill him, I mean... They need to take that as a compliment. Right, let's go. Okay, let's go again. Go <laughs> snake. In here. You're That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. Yeah, they I'm must looking need at a one. lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. Yeah, I'm looking at one. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. No, I don't believe then that. Then got a message from Liquid. <laughs> he said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That Hind will be coming back soon. Are you being serious? He shot down... F-16s with a helicopter. I find that hard to believe, sir. You're gonna have to explain this to me, so is that sound impossible? <laughs> just a couple of jets for a helicopter. That never works in Battlefield. <laughs> oh, I'm experienced in these sorts of uh, matters, ship hands. <laughs> never take on a, a jet with a helicopter. Yeah, it doesn't seem likely, I guess. You will respawn. These people like hey, to bug you. Hold on, oh, it's uh, McDonald's. It's been a long time. Oh, Master, okay, I'll have some french fries. Here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. 
My frequency is 141.80. Are we supposed to remember this pug? No, it keeps it stored, so okay, lucky good. for us we don't need to. Let's start keeping a telephone book. We store it all in our ear. What do we have here? What do you smell with your pug oh, nose? I don't smell anything. Just crawling around like a little mouse. <laughs> but nobody's going to suspect us. Are you feeling the game now, Chip Pants? This, I, I, the first person helps me feel it more I than the top down. The cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? There's a woman in the cell. Happen? There's an intruder. Maybe it's the niece really? of Colonel. He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. I was gonna say, Pug, I didn't know that you'd killed anybody. They weren't, they, they weren't talking about me, Chip Pants. Yeah. I, I don't kill people. <laughs> I just neutralize them. Uh -huh. Always remember that for the judge. <laughs> All right, so they're about to start spraying for rodents in here, Pug, so you better get the step on, right? Yep. You just called yourself a little mouse. <laughs> okay, nothing interesting. Ooh! Amazon package up ahead. Press the action button to drop down. Uh, good, in good info. <laughs> All right, are these rations? Okay, woof up. That's my health. It's pretty well. generous on the health so far, isn't it? Well, we're just getting started. It's eating you in. Okay, we're in papers. Hold God, on. they keep calling phone, you. Phone call. Hold on. I like that. The elevator to change floors. <laughs> there should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Okay, cargo elevator. Perhaps there's a camera right there. Right, let's have a look at our surroundings. The grenades don't seem exactly stealthy, do they? Those are shaft grenades. They knock out the surveillance cameras. Ah. What? What? The camera? No way. You know what? I'm going back up to my fan. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just, ign <laughs> just ignore me. <laughs> Who saw me? It should reset. The camera went red light at oh, the yeah. top, so I think it was him. Oh. I didn't really get hurt. They're going to forget that you were just down there, right? We'll come back down, yeah. They're not the best of soldiers. <laughs> okay, go it under just... It's because I'm not going underneath it, I don't think. It doesn't even see the distance, Pug. That's funny, so the cone is the actual range of it as well. There's a camera at the back here. Ooh. Is there anything good back here? Got something spinning. <gasps> oh, thermal goggles, nice. Those allow you to see basically uh, heat, which is good for finding mines and traps and things like that. Alrighty. Now you got to be careful walking out. You hear that noise on the. On the the tapping. Yeah, it will set the guards off, so I need to be um. careful on that. 
So far they seem pretty uh, ignorant to it. So we need key cards to open these doors. We don't have any at the moment. You see the one? Yes. That means a level one door, so you need a level one key card. Okay. It's uh, Colonel said something about getting to an elevator shaft yes, to go down. It's gonna be down here, I believe. I've just been doing a really crap job on the cameras. Alright, let's have a look around in a second. I think that's the other place you can come in, is it? It might be, somewhere down here. Oh, okay, you had different options how to go in. That's neat. Have you seen any loots or anything like that, chip pants, or rooms I may miss? Okey -dokey Here's the dungeons. elevator. Now you have to go stay stealthy. Oh, okay, it's coming right now. Okay, B1? B1? Let's, let's do B1. Walk our way downwards. Even though it looks like a 131. Excuse me? It looks like 131 instead Does of B1. Oh. Hold on, I've got another call. You are popular. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. Ooh. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Oh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you interrupted me with a call. Well, go hurry. These people, I swear. See, that's a door six, chip pants. So it needs a six key card. Exactly. And we've got the green blob in there. Looks clear the corridor. See, I spend most of my time looking at the map. I know exactly what you mean, you know? and this is how I played Raven, uh, Rainbow Six. Yes, it is. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, uh -huh. just press the action button by the ladder. All right, cheers, Dad. <sighs> my dad, he, he, he does worry. <laughs> it's a bit much on the phone calls. That could just pop up on screen like a text. <laughs> You want him texting me now? Just put a little implant in my eyeball. <laughs> to come out the bottom, where the ration is, down there. Right, shh, shh, people. Be quiet. What's down here? Oh, Somebody's on the toilet? Damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. So you just sitting in the toilet. It was a huge toilet. And it was big, and there's little maggots crawling about. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. And he didn't flush or wipe. He comes up later, that character, so pay attention to him. Don't shake hands with him. Let me get my bullets first, and then shuffle, shuffle backwards like a worm. Because you can't turn around in here, I take it. I can. Just an empty desk. Let's go back. Hey, Chip Pants, you're going to help me direct me around the place. Okay, and all right. You are my other pair of eyes. Still have to ring you, like the rest of them. Yes. I'll let you know. You can count on me, Snake. Can you bust through any of these that you want? Is that a woman? What the? Not him. Now, interesting. There's a hit, hit, little hidden thing. If you come back here, yeah. she'll be doing a different exercise. I'll show okay. you real quick. Is it worth showing? I don't know. Well, it depends I've, on I've, how far back we have I to go. I have to crawl think. back out the uh, the finger magic. Out of the whole thing. Yeah. Out of here. Maybe we can speed it up in the edit. <laughs> Just here. I need to go back. I'll show it real quick. It's just a little Easter egg, if you will. She's just getting her workout on. Just getting her workout on. Alright, what do we all think that exercise she's going to be doing? She was doing sit-ups. Press-ups. One-handed press-ups. She's tough. Alright, if we do it again... Some people probably know where this is going. Not me. 
But uh, basically, if we do this four times, we get to see her in our underwear. <laughs> so this is for all the perverts out there. Of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> did you know this as a kid? Did you just learn I, about I this? I did not know this as a kid. You think I'm going to crawl out in and out of this thing four bloody times? Pop man, he's got all bubbles on I, his I, chest. I dare this for the people. I, I know they want to see it. Some, some, some of them, I'm sure, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I would appreciate it. I just would don't want to be doing the crawling. <laughs> yeah, this game is full of little secrets. Um, and little Easter eggs here and there. She's doing an old stretch. Oh, she's getting her stretch on now. Okay. We do this one more time. Okay, the, the next time's the naked time? Next time's the naked time. Come I think it's only fair that we see her uh, in our underwear, since that we've seen Snake nude completely. Yes. Tit for tat. There you go. Although I'm pretty sure Snake is probably like an action man down there. Kind of like... Um, the, the Sullied from Game of Thrones. Because that would make a better soldier, wouldn't it? <laughs> so so you're saying he's not anatomically correct? But I, I guarantee you that they probably made the, the females anatomically correct. <laughs> Alright, Pug, ready? Oh, bring. is everybody excited? Bring the popcorn, peoples. Bring, bring, bring. Bring, bring. Are you ready, Chipheads? Chipheads call in here. Naked Ooh. woman. Six o'clock. She's not naked, Chipheads. She's just... She's breaking out of sweat. And then she's doing it in her... Uh, fest and pants. As she would. Now, hmm. I could... I could keep going back. <laughs> she's would doing it keep getting dirty? Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. We were busy. Oh, we were. We won't tell him that, though. That's his uh, niece. <laughs> no, we're trying to be saving the world from nukes. Well, we are busy. Oh, he has maggots, too, in there. here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? <laughs> it's true. You don't look like one of them. He's got two case, names. Hurry up and get me out of here. Oh, Donald. Slow down. And then, don't worry. Yeah, and then First, George Bird. That's the actual the actor. The terrorists? Oh. The voice actor. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. You should go close back on. How do they plan to launch Pants at least. I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Ooh. That you're going to call Pete. Is that right, Chipence? It's Stompy Pete. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. It 
If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. Ooh. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> He's just gonna leave him to talk to himself. <laughs> These are super soldiers. But I thought that all new They are a bit stupid, aren't they? The safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they She's find a nosy out little thing. Password, <laughs> yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. What? Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. Hmm. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? <laughs> I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Chestbuster. What'd you do, Pug? I didn't do anything. <sighs> Dead. He's dead. Just like that. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? <sighs> no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. 
You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Hmm. Get out of there and find President Baker. What is going on, oh, I think I'm just a puppet, Chip Pence. <sighs> I pull out right now. You get in here and do your own dirty work. Oh, I'm hearing stuff. Oh, I'm seeing red dots move about. What's going on? Someone's just right over there to your left. <laughs> okay, well, first things first, let's check under the bed. Is the door open now? Okay, don't need to rush in, the door is open. Let's and get nothing, out. nothing wars on his body, right? Just a few maggots. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I saw that. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. This person reminds me of you, Chip. Is this the first time you ever? Pointed Why do you a gun say that? Person? Your hands are shaking. Because I've got a gun pointed at you. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Mr. you watch That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. <laughs> That's what I see in you, Chip. Rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. Not on purpose, you're taking the safety off, rookie. <laughs> I told you I'm no rookie. Don't call me that. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. Yeah, oh, crap. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Don't think. Shoot. You remember that, Chip Pants? Uh, yeah, actually, I no, do. you think first, because actually you shoot me a lot. <laughs> you don't want me to think, Pug. I'd want to have a conversation with people instead of hurting them. Well, I said I wouldn't kill them, but I think I've changed my mind. What are you waiting for? Shoot. Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! <laughs> shoot! <laughs> right, what call, is going I'm on? I'm calling her pants. <laughs> you calling her pants? You might need a health, Pug. It should also health me, because I've got the health in my bottom left hand corner. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of bullets! Oh no! Okay, we've got some more. Oh, grenades! Chip hats! Oh, never mind, just take some advice. Pugmen and explosions! Good old and naked body at the bottom. Yep, I stripped him, took his clothes. And his weapon. I'm badass. Help. I'm no rookie. <laughs> Why are we looking at her butt? It's got Lord. chicken in the wake up. <laughs> you fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss. Hmm. Strange thing. Okay, is that Japan? That is so you wasting bullets. And then like, yes, I'm so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you think you actually got this on my own? You think you actually defeated me? Excuse me. We got ghosts in this too. This game has everything. Naomi, 
Maybe. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Ooh. I don't like the look of him. You, you say that, but I think of all of Foxhound, he's probably my favourite. You like him because he's kind of ghosty. It, and psychic powers and all that, and he floats. He floats, people, he floats. Can we go in these rooms? Oh, we can. So, Chipans, what exactly did you do to him? <laughs> he's still I KO'd. I humiliated him like he did me. Poor guy. I like how you have to swim under the bed instead of just peeking under it. <laughs> More bullets. Good. Getting low, huh? So you've got a level one card, but you're not on level one anymore, right? You've changed. You're back you're back on B one. Now if you see a level one card, it's just for doors. If there's L if there's a one on a door, it open that door. Okay. So it doesn't matter the level exactly, no, just it could be anywhere okay. in the box. Okay. So that's a level six. Anyway, let's go track chip pants down. Let's go B2. It's surprising that that guy who has one of the passwords to a nuclear device only has level one clearance. Yeah, that is a bit weird. But he's not part of this space, though, is he? Mm, really? Is he? he was okay. just kidnapped. Kidnapped. Alright. Music's intense. I know what you mean by looking at the Pac-Man thing. Yep, this is the armory. And there are trapdoors, as you just saw. You can actually see them if I put the thermal Gs on. Ah. Uh. You can actually see any hidden traps. So this room contains basically weapons. So we'll be coming back here. C4. Gonna need that. What's it was this? just that specific room had weapons and they'll respawn in there? Uh, this whole room is called the armory, meaning it's storage oh, of weapons. Okay. That's a level 2 door. The rooms within rooms, got it. So if you can keep an eye of uh, kind of mental note of what where high level rooms are that we might have to come back to so there's like a for example there's a level 2 door here if I get a level 2 key I'll have to come back to this room and open this door here oh okay with See the what two. I mean? yes I do yes I'm with you now so I may ask oh I've got a level 6 thingamajig where's some level 6 doors that I've passed by okay grenades self explanatory no, let's have a demonstration, Pug. <laughs> now, the uh, old Mr. Donald who died of the heart attack said they had painted the walls here, and I think it's right there. Oh! Man, you really do need to go into a different, you know, first person perspective to catch everything. Yes, don't you? you do. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck. We're going to use the old C4. Plant it down. Count it down, trip pants. Three, two, one, boom! Textbook. Textbook, people. Didn't lose a limb or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got jamming down here, so the radar's out. Oh, so it makes so it even more difficult. It's alright. We're soldiers, we're used to this. There's another painted wall. Right here. Count it down, chip pants. Three, two, one, boom! I like the explosives. Why do we need keys at all, Pug? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Just make holes through walls. Can you put them? Can you put them in the corner of both of those walls and uh, get a twofer? I don't think you probably can. You and I don't, should. I don't want to risk it because then I'll be stuck. <laughs> That's right, because these are your last ones. Count Ready? us down twice, chip pants. 
three, three, two, two, one, one, boom, boom. Good stuff. What have we got in here? <gasps> right, we got some dude tied and strung up. That doesn't look good. That looks like a spider booty bee trap in there. <laughs> Alright, we've got cameras in there. Hit hit the wall. I'm gonna sh uh... Alright, we're gonna go in here first. Am I too late? Looks like it. What would you do, Pug? Would you touch the strings or the arms tech free Kenneth him? Baker, right? No. Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No. No, don't touch it. C4. <gasps> oh, he can move like a cat. <laughs> right. Touch that wire and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. With the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Cool character. Bit of a show off. A bit I've fancy. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Have you? Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. Oh, he likes his gun. Single action army. <laughs> Stroking it. Six bullets. It's like Pugman More does when he has a magnum. Kill anything that moves. <laughs> now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. All right, boss battle, people. Oh. Should you let me do this? Are we doing a western uh, shootout I, I, here? Really, I, I don't <laughs> think so, shit pants. Stun them. You got three stun grenades. Toss them. Oh my god, I just ran into the... <laughs> Alright, we're going to be taking that back. That was just ridiculous. That was pretty classic, Pug. Unbloody believable. <laughs> I got excited, friends. I just ran into the spider web. <laughs> Don't you just hate that when you run face first into spider webs? <laughs> well, you were demoing for us what not to do. Yeah, exactly. That's what you don't do, friends. <laughs> what you do do is you run around. You run around. And you put a gun in your hand. Ooh. All right. You got a little laser saw oh, on I'm it I'm trying too. to get used to the buttons, to be honest. There we go. I found where the trigger is on the gun, friends. <laughs> You got him on the run. I love to reload oh. during that. Are you trying to catch oh, him? I'm trying to shoot him. <laughs> oh, he keeps track of his bullets too. Yeah, so you can see when he's going to reload. And this is kind of like a Benny Hill boss battle. Oh, nice, nice there. Can you tell Baker in the middle to keep it quiet? We're focusing here. I need, I need help. What's wrong with them? I don't know. There is it's something caught with a spider web chip. <laughs> There's something spinning on the backside, Pug. You're about to... right there. Oh, uh, no, I'm not going near that thing. <laughs> Oop. Oh, Ocelot's almost down. Oh, he's almost down. If you stay up his bum, he's pretty easy. You're pretty good. Thank you. That's what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. I'm not bad when I don't it's run into spider webs. <laughs> since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? Bloody hell. <gasps> oh, freak. It's, it's, oh, it's chip pants bloody right. hell. <laughs> Stealth camouflage. It's bloody predator. He's not going to be scary anymore without a pistol hand. No. I like you. I have no name. That, that exoskeleton. 
Have you ever met a nice exoskeleton, Chip Pants? Nope. What's going on What's with him? What's the matter with him? Exoskeleton is short circuiting. Huh. This place is full of lunatics. Alright, so we've got ghosts and um, exoskeletons. exoskeletons. Do you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. Who's Jim? You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What Damn about it, your Jim. code? There's no time. I talked. What? What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical How'd implants in my brain. <laughs> Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. <laughs> so the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised. Ow. Now you want to <laughs> you stop it, my leg goes. Stop that. <laughs> Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Uh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does what? that? What? Not the terrorists. <laughs> no, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. Chip Pants! She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. <laughs> they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? Summed you up. I was in contact with her by codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! <laughs> Tease. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. Ooh. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? What CD case? That came with a gun. You need to find what? Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? That's like the never-ending story. The Metal Gear Rex Project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. 
So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, Can't believe that. with nuclear waste seeping out of them. This is about real life, isn't it? Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material laugh. unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. When will man learn? Oh, no, Chip Hurts. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project. Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. Is that the Colonel? I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Oh, oh no. What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, they're just using you for... Bloody hell, not again. I'm, I'm going on strike until I get some answers. <laughs> what the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but yeah, some right. kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. What did that mean? Snake, yeah, what did there's that a mean? lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. 
Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. They're not answering questions. They're stalling. They're just like making that. us their workhorse. I know. Right. Quick question. Yes. Foxhounds. They keep referring to it as if it's their unit, but mm -hmm. I thought that these people that were fighting, like Ocelot, um, are the ones that um, are the, the, the babies of the boss. Boss babies? Oh, sorry. Sons of the boss. <laughs> yes. Boss babies, yeah. yeah. Like Muppet babies, but boss babies, yeah. <laughs> yes. So they're talking about it as if it's their team, but then at other times, like they're the enemy that's, that's big threatening bo big everybody boss, with the nuke. Big boss, the main yeah. guy, he used to be the, the leader of Foxhound. He actually made Foxhound. Okay, I'm with you. And later on, he basically he's working for two groups. Okay. He created Foxhound and he also did Outer Heaven. Okay. So later on, Foxhound has been taken over by the Colonel, the guy you're we're talking to now. Um, if that makes any sense. It does. So these guys that have uh, stolen the nuke, um, they're not still calling themselves Foxhound anymore. They were Foxhound, and yes. now they're boss babies. They're just boss babies. Okay. I'm they're called. Uh, are they calling themselves Out of Heaven? I don't know what they're calling themselves. I keep hearing sons of the boss, boss babies. There you go. That's good enough. Anyway, if you also, maybe you also caught in that conversation, we need to contact Meryl, who we don't Chip have, pants. yes, we don't have the uh, codec frequency. It is actually written on a case of the CD, which it was back in the day. If you checked on the back of the case, it would have Meryl's frequency. Uh -huh. So on the next video, friends, we're going to contact Meryl and continue on. Until then, you guys take yeah. care. Don't have any heart attacks. You're going to partner up with Chip Pants, Pug. Oh, God. Because a pug without a chip pants is only half a pug. Oh, he's a happy pug, though. <laughs> he still keeps all these limbs. All right, friends. I'll see you on the next video. Once I find out, where did we blast the hole to get out of here? <laughs> he's probably laying in front of it to kick him. Is it here? I'm trapped like a rat here. There it is. There it is. You'd think I played this game before, wouldn't you? <laughs> there we go. All right, friends, see you on the next video. Save and switch.